Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Stamped, DHC2 Beaver featured in Canadian Postal Series. Pal Skyhope founder ticks off 1,000th flight in volunteer service. Archer Aviation to unveil Aircraft Midnight in November event. This week's coverage of NBAA Base is powered by GoGo 5G, allowing business aviation to communicate faster than ever. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Stamped, DHC2 Beaver featured in Canadian Postal Series. Viking Air Limited's facilities in Sydney, British Columbia was the site of an unveiling of a new Canada Post stamp celebrating the DHC2 Beaver's contribution to Canadian aviation. The DHC2 Beaver is one of five achievements featured in Canada Post's new Canadians in Flight series. Canada Post explained that the Beaver is considered the best bush plane ever built and was named one of Canada's top 10 engineering achievements of the 20th century. The all-metal plane's short takeoff and landing capability, along with its ability to be fitted with wheels, floats, or skis, made the Beaver ideal for accessing and connecting remote areas of the country. De Havilland Canada CEO Brian Chafe said, quote, We are honored that Canada Post has chosen the DHC2 Beaver to be part of this new series celebrating achievements in Canadian aviation. This is a special day for our company and for the people whose lives have been improved by this amazing aircraft over the past seven and a half decades, with many more to come." End quote. Today, over 750 of these iconic aircraft remain operational worldwide. The new stamps will be available at postal outlets across Canada starting Monday, October 17th. And after the break, Gene Beaver born to be inducted into EAA UL Hall of Fame. I'm Brad Kislowski, and some people know me as the NASCAR driver, where I've competed for 13 years at the Cup Series level. There is no typical day in my world. Not knowing what my day is going to be, I have to have as much flexibility as possible. I've been a GoGo -Go customer for over five years, and so I've seen the technology just continue to improve. It's an enabler that uh, helps me make the most of a crazy world that I'm in. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the GoGo -Go system I have on my airplane. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Gene Beaver born to be inducted into EAA UL Hall of Fame. Gene Beaver born has been announced as one of five upcoming inductees of the EAA Ultralights Hall of Fame this November. Once inducted, Bourne will take his place in the annals of ultralight history among similarly esteemed aviators. The EAA has been announcing the new additions to the Hall of Fame in the weeks leading up to their recognition, allowing each member to receive the requisite attention due given all they've done for the organization's mission. Bourne hails from Reserve, Louisiana, breaking into the ultralight business in 1976. Splashdown! Crew 4 returns home for a 170-day journey. NASA SpaceX Crew 4 astronauts aboard the Dragon spacecraft safely splashed down Friday off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida, completing the agency's fourth commercial crew mission to the International Space Station. The international crew of four spent 170 days in orbit. NASA astronauts Bob Hines, Chell Lindgren, and Jessica Watkins, and European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti returned to Earth in a parachute-assisted splashdown at 4.55 p.m. EDT. 
Teams aboard SpaceX recovery vessels retrieved the spacecraft and astronauts. Zenith Aircraft returns with Builder's Workshop at Wheels and Wings. Zenith Aircraft will once again host its popular hands-on kit aircraft building workshop taking two wheels and wings at Cannon Creek Airport in northern Florida. The course runs from December 2nd to 3rd and will provide all the needful to complete the rudder tail section of a Zenith aircraft from a standard kit, often completed within the first day or by the next morning. The process is a good choice to hone important skills for a home builder from reading drawings and enacting assembly instructions to drilling and riveting the skin of the rudder. GoGo Business Aviation signs Russell Wilson as 5G Ambassador. GoGo's newest affiliate is a big name for those following the NFL at home or abroad, Super Bowl champ Russell Wilson. The Denver Broncos quarterback will serve as a spokesperson for GoGo's in-flight 5G capabilities, promoting the service, speaking to his experience in using it, and making media appearances where appropriate. For players accustomed to being on the road, large swaths of downtime in the air can become straining, but Wilson manages to keep in touch with family and friends with his 5G-equipped Gulfstream G4. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Pal Skyhope founder ticks off 1,000th flight in volunteer service. Pal Skyhope reports that founder and president Joe Howley has hit the 1,000th flight milestone with the organization, marking 12 years of volunteering his aviation services for those in need. Howley's group includes nearly 500 general aviation pilots who volunteer their time, talents, and most importantly, their aircraft to transport patients and veterans to medical treatments, retreats, and humanitarian missions. PAL Skyhope is a nonprofit organization that provides free air transportation to those in need by connecting such would be passengers with an array of pilots who can get them right where they need to go. Whether it's a trip for rare, specialized medical treatments or expertise, rehabilitative retreats, and morale-boosting getaways, PALS is there for those in need. Howley's extensive flight log has seen him help a range of people and patients from all walks of life, granting passengers a speedy journey through the air to bypass a lengthy drive or impossible commercial flight conditions. His Embraer Phenom 300 has traveled to 33 states and countries across 329,000 miles over these past 12 years. Across all 1,000 flights, Halley helped 1,681 passengers reach their destinations. And after these messages, Archer Aviation to unveil Aircraft Midnight in November event. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Archer Aviation to unveil Aircraft Midnight in November event. Archer Aviation announced an open house event for this November, promising to show off Midnight, their first production aircraft. The unveiling will allow visitors and press to see its features, specs, and capabilities, from its proprietary powertrain to its interior layout. Midnight was announced last August following the completion of the aircraft's preliminary design review. Midnight specifics remain under wraps, but some of the most important aspects, seating for four passengers and one pilot, more than 1,000 pounds of payload, and a turnaround time of 10 minutes between flights, have been released ahead of the open house. Attendees will have a chance to see the aircraft put through its paces with the flight of Archer's full-scale tech demonstrator at their flight test facility. 
Archer has made waves with a series of big ticket sales of the aircraft to some of the biggest names in the airline industry, like a $10 million pre delivery payment for 100 midnights from United Airlines earlier this year. Both United and Stellantis will be participating in the November event. Stellantis has been a key partner in Midnight's development, according to Archer, a vital part of the process required to take the aircraft from scratch-built prototype to mass-produced eVTOL. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!